Hello, um, and in this video, I want to cover how to integrate CMake with VS Code. It took me quite some time to figure this out, so I wanted to make a video about it. Um, along the way, I'll also create, um, I'll also talk about a subtopic about how to create a top level CMake file, CMake lists file. Um, this is something that's helpful in integrating multiple CMake lists files from um, subdirectories and sub projects. Um, with one main top level CMake lists file. So let's take a look at what code I have ready. Um, for that, I'm going to open Visual Studio Code and I'm going to close the existing folder and let me open the project that I have ready for the demo. Um, yeah, so this is the project that I have. Um, there's a folder called project1 under, underneath which there's a source folder and that has source1 and source2. Um, source1 is the one is the file which contains the main function um, it, it just prints out hello in lowercase and then it calls a function called another hello um, which is implemented in source2 and that just prints out hello2. Um, and to compile this uh, project I have a CMake lists file within this project. Um, so if you take a look at it, there's a CMake lists file within the project one, within project one, and that just sets some variable called source sources to the source file one and source file two, and then creates an executable out of that called test CPP one. Um, along with that, we have a top level CMake. Um, this will come in handy later when I add another sub project. But for now, just to take a look at it, this specifies the uh, minimum standard required, um, and then C++ standard, and then um, what CMake version to use, and gives a project name, along with telling CMake that it needs to look into subdirectory project one. Um, so yeah, let's close that. And then now we want to configure this open folder with the CMake tools extension that VS Code has. And to do this, um, we need to go into the extensions tab. Here we make sure that CMake tools is installed. So in my case, CMake tools is already installed, so I'm not going to install it. But you can search for that and then install this. And I think by default it also, or automatically, it also installs the CMake uh, extension along with uh, CMake tools that happens in the background so you don't have to worry about it you just have to install CMake tools um, so once that's installed we can come back to the Explorer tab and let me close this um, yeah we can come back to the Explorer tab and then you can hit the um, keys control shift and P uh, that's to open the command palette so P as in parrot or, or plane um, so once you do that, you need to run CMake. You can run CMake, and then you get a bunch of CMake-related options. Um, I the first thing you need to do is to select the configure option. Um, this is going to tell the CMake extensions um, file, uh, the CMake ex the CMake tools extension, to look at all the CMake files which within the open folder, and then configure how many projects are. Uh, open within this subfolder depending on how many CMake files are present in this location. Um, so in my case I've set an option in v VS Code to automatically uh, configure CMake every time I open VS Code so it's actually run the configuration step automatically already but if you were to hit com uh, Control shift p and then uh, press this configure button you will get some similar output like this. Um, in my case, if I were to run configure again, um, I would get a smaller, shorter output. Uh, but yeah, if you see some message like generating done without any errors, that means your CMake lists uh, files has been uh, understood by VS Code. Um, so now we go into this CMake tab. Um, you have to note that the CMake tab will not exist, or you will not you will not be able to see this. It'll, it'll be it will not be visible 
until you run the configure option. So in my case, since the configure option uh, ran automatically on when VS Code started up, um, you were all already able to see this icon, but in a lot of cases, um, by default that setting is set to false. So this will be invisible or it will not be visible until you run uh, CMake configure. So anyway, so now we've come to the CMake tab and over here we see that it's detected project one and under project one it knows that there's an executable um, to be created called test CPP. So here once you see that test CPP you can go ahead and build it uh, again in case you've so it's already uh, built test CPP, the executable, but if you were to make any changes, you could always rebuild it from here. And on doing that, you should get exit code zero and with no errors, which means if you're able to build um, this particular executable, you can also debug or run the script in terminal. So if we run the script in terminal, you can see that hello gets printed once and then hello2 gets printed once after that. Um, if you wanted to debug this code by adding breakpoints, for example, so I can go into source1, um, let me add a breakpoint here uh, before another hello, and then you can come back to see the CMake tab, um, right click, and debug. Um, the first time around it shows some kind of weird output I guess or oh no uh, it, take a look at the terminal tab and it only printed hello the first line um, you can use these commands on top the keys on top to step over and now it's printed hello too and if I click on this it's going to complete running the entire program all right um, so now we saw how to integrate um, CMake with VS Code. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, I'm just going to add another bit of content to this video where I add another project. So I'm going to have project 1 and project 2 under this uh, within this folder and then I'm going to build those projects with a single external CMake file. Um, so if we go back to terminal so right now the structure looks like this. This is a build folder that VS Code generates. Um, this is the top level CMake and this is the project 1. So if I do ls proj1, you'll see that there's a CMake list file uh, specific to project 1 and then there's a source uh, file. So just for reference, let me show you the top level CMake. This is what's there in that and then this is what's there in the project specific CMA. So let me copy another project into this folder. All right, so now we have two projects, project one and project two. Um, we can go back into VS Code to take a look at them. Um, here's the refresh button. In case it doesn't refresh, you can use this refresh button to take a look at that. So this project is also very similar to the other project. The only difference being all the print statements are in caps. So it's all capital hello and then capital hello too. But the rest of the format and all that is the same. So now you have two projects, project one and project two. And each of them have their own CMake list file, but you want to integrate them with the external top level CMake. So the way you do that is you have the this common portion of CMake lists already defined. Earlier you had defined only one um, subdirectory for project one. Now you just go ahead and add a second subdirectory for project two and you save that. Um, on saving C, uh, this CMake lists file on pressing Control S um, and saving the file, you could see that VS Code automatically ran um, the CMake configuration step. So if we go into the CMake tab, you should now see two executables, um, each one corresponding to the each one corresponding to one of the projects. So you can go ahead and run one of them in terminal, 
um, you should see small hello one and small hello two and if I go ahead and run the other one you see capital hello one and capital hello two 